Happy Sunday morning, YouTube friends. I have a little project for you guys this morning. I'm going to be super gluing some java fern to a piece of driftwood. I got a bunch of needle leaf java fern. So pretty. So, so pretty. <laughs> I'm like in love with this. Um, <laughs> and so I'm going to super glue it to a piece of driftwood. Java fern tends to do best when it's not directly in the substrate, so you can tie it. You can use, if you don't want to use super glue, you can use um, like white cotton string. You can use fishing line to just tie it to a rock or a piece of driftwood or anything else, an ornament or something. Um, but Java fern tends to do best when its roots are out of the substrate and just kind of tied to some things so that it gets water flow and nutrients and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be attaching it to a piece of driftwood this morning. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, these are in pretty big clumps. So I'm going to just break up the plants a little bit. You can see the bottom here. You can just pull these little rhizomes apart. And so this thick piece on the bottom of the plant that the leaves attach off of, that's called the rhizome. That if you if you do want to plant your java fern, which you can, um, you should always make sure that this little piece is above the substrate. That should not be planted or else it'll kill the plant. Um, so what we're going to be super gluing today is this rhizome primarily. So if your plants have like really long um, roots hanging off of them, which these ones do not, um, you may need to trim down the roots a little bit just to get at the rhizome because you want to make sure that you're not super gluing just roots. It's okay if you get some roots in there, but you really want to be um, aiming for the rhizome there. So I'm going to pull these plants apart a little bit. Okay, now I have some little plants that I can really work with. Um, you want to make sure that your plants are dry and that the piece of wood, rock, or whatever you're attaching to them to is dry. So I'm going to take some paper towel and just really dry off the, um, the part of the plant that I want to attach. So I'm going to leave the leaves alone. Those can stay a little bit wet. That's okay. But that rhizome that you're going to attach, you want to dry that off as best you can. All right, so today I'm going to be using Gorilla Glue, glue Gorilla Glue Super Glue. Um, you can use lots of different types of super glue. There goes my light. Do I want light? Light's on a timer. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Okay, that's better. Um, so yeah, I'm using Gorilla Glue, Super Glue. The ingredient that you want to look for is, and I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, cyanoacrylate. I will put a little comment that shows that spelled out for you guys, but that's what you want to look for. That is going to be aquarium safe once it dries. Um, for anybody who is nervous about putting super glue in their aquarium, I'll tell you that um, reefers use it all the time. They super glue rocks together in reef aquariums. It's very, very commonly used and it is aquarium safe, so no worries there. But if you're scared about that, use fishing line or thread. All right, so I will show you guys. So I'm actually going to put a little bit on the plant directly on the rhizome. And you don't need to use a ton. And obviously be careful not to get this on your hands. You may want to use gloves while we're doing this. Okay, so now I have a little bit on there and I'm just going to quickly stick it where I want it. And you really want to try to use as little as possible because um, when it dries, it does have a tendency to turn white. So you don't want a bunch of like white junk on your rock or wood. And it takes about you know, 30 to 60 seconds to dry. But there you have it. 
And I'm going to go ahead and attach the rest of these. I won't make you guys watch while I do that, but I'll show you the after, prod after uh, product. All right. Okay, so here's the finished product. Looks good, right? Um, I totally got glue all over my fingers, so gloves might be a good idea. I don't know. My fingers aren't stuck together, so that's a plus. Um, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm probably going to leave it out like 5 to 10 minutes just to really make sure that all the glue is dry. Um, and while you're doing that, you want to make sure that these leaves do not dry out. So if you have a spray bottle handy that you can spray a little bit of water on them every once in a while, that would work. Um, otherwise, you can kind of like dribble some water on there, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this out for a little while, and then I will put it in the tank and show you guys what it looks like. So here it is, finished and in the tank. There's Miss Edie. Um, that's what it looks like. So a couple final thoughts. I would have used tweezers, I think, um, instead of my fingers, because I did get a lot of glue on my fingers. Gloves would work too, maybe, um, but that has the potential to stick. I would maybe use some tweezers instead. And then, what else was I thinking? Oh yeah, so you guys can use this also for other plants like Anubias work really well with this method. Uh, you can do mosses, you can, so a little bit of glue on the moss, same sort of thing, you dry off the moss a little bit in the place where you wanna glue it. A Little bit of glue on the moss, some glue on the wood or the rock and kind of pat it down on there. Um, yeah, I guess I have nothing else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.